So traders, I want to walk you through four different, yeah, one, two, three, four different stocks that I think are set to make some really, really big moves over the next probably say three months or more. Um, and I want to share that with you. Let's get into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, let's get straight into it. I want to share these stocks with you and hopefully this is beneficial to you too. Let's keep, keep an eye on some things. Now, uh, firstly, uh, these are very big, these are very big uh, tech uh, industry focused. And I'm gonna be, the first thing I'll be looking at Amazon. I want to be looking at Amazon because if we have a look at Amazon on the short term picture, we're squeezing up into a triangle pattern and uh, we know what happens um, towards the end of the triangle pattern, right? We start to break. So if we start to break out of this triangle pattern, uh, that tells me we're probably likely to start to make a move at least back up towards the highs up here when it comes to Amazon. Now on the big picture, on this overall big picture on what I'm seeing with Amazon is uh, is I'm seeing that you can see how this has really, if I just take everything off the screen, see how we just really have been doing nothing ever since for the last, for the last, uh, what's that there, for almost five months, this has been doing nothing. Now, when the market does nothing, it's building energy, just like it did back here. Look at this. So we went, we had a move up and a move down and a move up and look at this here. So basically from say this point here, or maybe even this point here, Notice how we actually just went sideways. We went sideways for about six, maybe seven months. We had a little rally up, a little rally down. So maybe this whole sideways movement really was about maybe 10 months. So you can see like a 10 month sideways movement, which is building energy, okay? So when the market's gone sideways like that, it's building energy. And then when we start to break out, we, we're basically releasing that energy that we built. And you could see we actually went on for a uh, about about a five to six month move to the upside before we went into this sideways movement. Uh, you know, or if you're going to look at this one here, roughly about a three to four month period if you're using a conservative sort of approach. So you can see that's what that's what uh, Amazon's done. So, but you can see Amazon, um, the Amazon is doing the exact same thing here. So just sort of keep an eye for that, guys, because if we do start to really break above, say, these levels through here, we can see there's a bit of a box that's going on. Let me just take that off screen. That was actually a bit of a trade that I did, very short-term trade. That's where the rest, that's the reason why the arrow is there. So that's what I'm seeing there right now on Amazon. That's the weekly chart, guys, and the daily charts. Keep an eye on that because we could be getting ready to, or I believe on the overall market, we're set to make a big, massive blow-off. And so um, I think that's gonna be really, really, really bullish for stocks, especially if we do start to get more and more closer towards a stimulus package being passed. Now let's go back to the daily charts and let's bring up good old Microsoft. So Microsoft looking at the last sort of three months, very short term view. What can I see here? I can see that we've got a bit of a trend line coming up through through this level through here. Very, very, very sort of tight sort of, sort of tr a trend line. Um, and if I actually, if, if I actually, if, if I just remove everything off the screen and start all over again, we can see that there's a resistance around the, the 225 level and there's, and there's this sort of major support level around, I would say around the 200 level. So notice how we're, we're definitely ranging between this level here. So we're definitely holding here quite strong when it comes to Microsoft. Now, there's a few different things that I'm thinking about when I'm looking at Microsoft right now as I speak. The first thing is that we've got a bit of a channel here, right? We've identified a channel, resistance around 225, support around 200. So that's a bit of a channel. So if we start to break above 225, where is it likely to go? So what we do is we measure from the high the high of the channel and we bring it down to the bottom of the channel and then I project this up and if I project that up then that tells me that we're now likely to get to around about that I'd say 240 possibly even 250 on a conservative on, on, on a on a uh, on a projected target that's called a channel projected target and this is obviously stuff you can learn obviously learning how to read the market here and this is what I'm teaching you here now, the next thing I'm looking at here is this, is that if I see that we've actually went from the low to the high point, if I bring up a Fibonacci level, and if I go from the low to the high point, and then I go to the low, notice how we came down to the 62% and the 62% is holding. As long as we keep holding the 62% and then we start to rally back up and out, that's gonna be pretty powerful. 
because the 62% is sort of like the line in the sand. Now, what's even more powerful if the market comes down to the 50% level and then bases out, but now what we've done is we've actually had a big move up, come back down. Notice how we had a bit of a double, small little double bottom. So now we're actually one bottom, two bottoms. So we've got a bit of a small little double bottom and now we're just sort of going sideways. And so if we start to, if we start to see a bit of a move to the upside, so if we start to see something like this and we start to break out like that there, then that's gonna be very, very powerful What's, uh, because the reason why is a few different things. Firstly, we're in a channel and when we start to break out, that means we're, we're now likely to run towards that target. The second thing is that we're actually holding at this 62% level, which is like the line in the sand. And that, and the third thing, of the, and the, the first thing is the channel. The second thing is, um, is the 62 percent the the third thing is that we actually made a small little double bottom in the markets before starting to move up uh so as you can see there so that actually small little double bottom if we actually break this level through here then the target's probably going to be small uh, on a short-term basis guys if that, that double bottom if that double bottom there um if we do break it say tomorrow then we're probably going to run up to at least short-term basis which is going to be on the 224 224 224, 226 level, somewhere around, somewhere around about there. If we do, this is based on that double bottom pattern. So that double bottom pattern there, that's where, that's where we're probably likely to go. And if that does happen, then we're probably likely to continue up and continue a very nice move. So keep an eye on Microsoft. And the major part here, guys, which is trend analysis, which is so important. This was the last high. We made a higher high. This is a low. This is now a major higher low. So this is a low, high, higher low. If we continue up, that tells me now, if I just squeeze my chart up a little bit more, that tells me now that we're now starting to hold here. And, and if we do start to see that breaking up, then we're probably likely to race back up towards 250 on Microsoft. So Microsoft is looking really, really, really bullish there. So I know I just went through that really, really quickly, guys. I try to slow it down a little bit for you, but you can always watch this video two or three times. I'm trying to give you guys techniques you can use to help you understand and help you get a gauge on what's going on in the markets and how to read the charts and learn how to, learn how to read the markets and, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's Microsoft there. Also, next off the rank is Apple. Now, Apple has uh, Apple looks like it's starting to break out now already. Looks like we're starting to get a bit of bit of a breakout from a couple of days ago, and we're starting to really, really start to see a move to the upside. Um, so it looks like Apple to me is starting to starting to break out and starting to break up. So it does look like that on on Apple, we can see that um, that it, it looks like it's probably, probably it looks like it wants to start to make another nice move back to at least the high point up there. Um, I'm just looking at sort of uh, let me just take everything off the screen again. I'm just trying to see from uh, let's actually get yeah from six month view. Just trying to see if there's any any sort of trend lines or triangle patterns I need. I know there's I know there's a bit of resistance around that 125 level, which was a problem in the past, and we definitely do have this sort of uh, trend a bit, bit of a bit of a a, tri a triangle pattern forming through here. As you can see, it's squeezing up. So that tells me we're probably likely to start to continue. We're probably likely to continue up here and continue making a nice move. And look what look what happened here. We actually found a low. And if I bring my Fibonacci law up from the low to the high, look what happened here. Came down. We made a low. Came down. Found support right at that 62% level, really around the 50% level there. And now we're starting to pick back up. So it's very very bullish with the volume behind it. So Apple looks like it wants that wants that continue making a very very nice move behind it there, and also on Facebook. So what's Facebook doing? The first thing I want to share with you on Facebook is that weekly chart. So if I go to the weekly chart here, the same sort of thing with Amazon. This, uh, Facebook has just been doing absolutely nothing for quite some time, and so within that or with all that being said, if we do start to see a bit of a break, say out of this level through here, and you can see we're in. We're in sort of a in, in a very 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 sort of tight sort of triangle pattern, but really not much going on. Our Facebook is um, I was about to say Apple. <laughs> if Facebook starts to continue up from there, continue up from here, a, a very 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 good update today. It does look like uh, uh, Facebook actually wants to start to make a very nice move. So I'm trying to see a, a target for 
for Facebook for me, if, for, if we do start to break out, would be I'd use this low through here and we have that high. So I'd use this low, I'd use that, uh, that level through there and that level through there. I would then project that out. So I'm just using this, this sort of support level here within, the, within this triangle pattern, this point through here. And then now I'm going to project that out. And so I'd say that uh, Facebook is probably on its way up to around 350. So all these tech stocks, guys, looks like they're about to make some really, really nice moves um, in, in, in the markets. And I know NASDAQ hasn't been doing much. So um, despite we, if we don't get a bit of a pullback in the markets and we just continue rising from here, all these stocks are probably going to rise as well. And because the tech stocks haven't been doing much for the last uh, three, four months now, they've been really, really quiet. They've been resting, which I've, which I've said many, many, many times in the past with the NASDAQ, that when we, when we, when we go for a big move you know, in say, for example, like with Amazon, I'll give you an example here, right? Amazon, Amazon went for a very, very, very big move. And now we've just been resting for a while and it looks like we're about to start to see a very nice move to the upside. So I hope, hope this helped you out today, guys. Here's four stocks that that are set to make some really big moves. Traders, I've been getting a lot of questions about asking me about, John, how do I trade the markets? What sort of system do I use? How, what's my approach and so on and so forth. So I'm running a free masterclass teaching you my number one trading system for the last 15 years. This is the most powerful and highest probability system on the planet. And I'm gonna just share with you all the details. Plus I'm gonna share with you how I find and scan and do all my trading in one hour or less Per day. If you go to johnsfreetraining.com, you can register for this free training that I'm going to run. So go to that right now. I'm going to teach you all the details. And I promise you, once you leave this free training, not only we know exactly what goes into a good trader, so you can be a good trader, but also you're going to learn my number one trading system, all the details so you can start to crush it. So go to johnsfreetraining.com and I look forward to seeing you on the masterclass. Go to johnsfreetraining.com right now.